Hello again sisters, I hope you've had a good week and uh, today's question was can you see how presenting the gospel is the solution for every problem that arises? I love the way that Mark says when we get our eyes off the cross we then get our eyes onto what we are to do and onto our performance which shows us we know it's a false gospel and we know that's no gospel at all. Um, Paul says in Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything that you do. It's God's gift. It's not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. So it's clear teaching here that salvation doesn't come from our performance. It's a gift it's a work of grace that's given to us from God. It happened to us when we first saw the cross, when we were unbelievers. And now each day as believers, we have ongoing salvation, seeing Jesus dying and suffering for us. At the heart of all our troubles and problems is the sin problem and shame and guilt that eats away at uh, our souls. And it's the good news of Jesus. <clears throat> it's the one solution <clears throat> that deals with this completely and wonderfully. The gospel is the one message to bring to ourselves, to preach to ourselves every day for our troubles. It's the one sacrifice of Jesus, of his body and blood for our sin. It's the one divine exchange of Jesus for our life that did not spare God's own son so that we were spared. It's the one pouring of Jesus' blood that lifts us up from the mire of sin. It's the one death of Jesus for the death of our sinful self. It's the one burial of Jesus for our Sabbath rest. It's the one atonement that redeems us, the one propitiation that deals with God's wrath, the one reconciliation that draws us into God's favour and presence and makes us 100% righteous before God. And praise God, it's the one rising of Jesus in resurrection power to make us into a new creation, sealed with the Holy Spirit. In Romans 7, 4, it says, Likewise, my brothers, you have also died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. Wow, um, this is just an amazing verse that shows us so clearly the difference between uh, the ways of the world and how they deal with um, uh, problems and the way that Christ has done it through the cross. Jesus was cast out. He was whipped down. He was hung up and he was nailed down to the cross to put to death our sin in his death. And this one solution grafted us into the vine of Christ in unity and changed our masters, made us belong to another, to be raised up from the dead and to bear fruit for God. Our love and peace and kindness and self-control and all the other harvest of righteousness. I wanted to just finish and share these lyrics which shows us the one solution of God's gospel for our troubles. I brought you all my foolish crowns, with trembling hands I laid them down, expecting wrath to be poured out, but you placed mercy on our brow. Still my best is nothing less than filthy rags and emptiness, but one drop of blood raise me from death and you see me through your righteousness. Oh, how sweet, amazing grace wraps me in a warm embrace. Oh, my heart rejoice. I was lost, now found. Bye for now.